Hello guys and welcome to another video from Vintage Radar. Today I'm going to show you how to set the time on your Casio G-Shock GA2100. So this is going to work for all GA2100 variants, models. So it doesn't matter whether you have a different color, dial, uh, strap and so on. This is going to work for your watch. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like the video, subscribe and also check out our two websites watchesineurope.com for watch reviews and tutorials and vintageradar.com for vintage and pre-owned watches. So the first thing that you want to do is to press and hold the adjust button for around 3 seconds. You are going to hear a small beep and that is where you can actually start browsing through different functions in order to set. The first one is going to be the time zone. If you want to move forward you can press the mode button until you arrive at what best interests you. Here we have the 24 hour display so you can either opt for the 12 hour display or the 24 hours. You can switch between them using the start button so you can see 12 hour display. This is for the digital display and if I press it once again it will switch back to 24 hours. Now I'm going to press the mode button once again. Here you can actually set the seconds. You can reset them by using the start button. I'm going to press the mode button once again. Here we can actually set the hours. So you can either move backwards using the light or you can move forward using the start button. Also if you press and hold the button you will be able to scroll faster. This is very useful when you set the minutes. So I'm going to leave it at 14. And I'm going to press the mode button once again. Here we can adjust the minutes. Once again I'm going to press and hold and I'm going to make it 50. You can get closer and then press one by one. So 14 and 50. Now if you press the mode button even more you will be able to see other functions. But if all you wanted to set is the time you can press the adjust button and it will go back to your home screen. And now as you can see we have the digital time 1450 and the watch hands are actually rotating so that they can actually show the time and as you can see we have the analog time matching the digital display. So that was the quick tutorial guys. If you enjoyed these type of videos and you want to learn even more about your Casio G-Shock make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below to our other uh, watch tutorials regarding this model so you can go and watch that playlist. Once again, like, subscribe and I'm going to see you on the next video.